Hey guys, I'm making uh, today. I'm making uh, fishing pole holders for the boat to go on the wake tower. Get them up off the deck. Get them out from the floor. Just a place to store them. Not really to fish with them while they're in the holder, but just to store them while we're not using them. I'm gonna kind of show you what we got going on here. We got just a piece of PVC. This is inch and a half PVC. We've chamfered that inside edge with the router. That was pretty simple, just a trim router and a chamfer bit with a bearing running around the inside. And then we cut out this slot. And that's for the rod to go right into. Now these work best for the spinning rods, but they also work for bait casters. That's hard to do with one hand. So there we go, get it in focus. So you've probably seen something similar at the store. So it's just going to sit in there like that. With that slot for the for the reel, it doesn't, won't be swaying around too much. So I'm going to show you. Of course, I just cut these to length on a miter saw. I was going to use the table saw to do the slot and figure something out, but that was too much. That was too hard. Here we have a one that doesn't have the slot in it yet. I've already got the chamfered edge, but what we're gonna do is use this jig. So it's a pretty simple jig. Just three pieces of wood screwed together here. Nice wide base for the router to ride on. Using this trim router and a top bearing bit to follow the, follow the slot. Follow that slot and cut it out just like that. This inside part of the jig is exactly the diameter of the PVC. So I'm going to set it up, show you the cut, and then we'll also get them installed on the boat. We're using U bolts to uh, install them onto the wake tower. We'll just use a little bit of sandpaper to clean it up. I've used 150, 220, just to clean up the rough edges. You definitely want to get all these edges, these sharp edges knocked down, especially on the chamfer, because It'll leave it sharp, and as you know, if you work with PVC, it can cut you. That's pretty good. Let's see, this one's all clean. It doesn't have any print on it. But, like this one, it's got a stain on it. And of course, some of them have print from the store. Here's one that has print all over it. We'll just use some sandpaper, probably some 220 to take that off. That way you don't see it. This one I still gotta sand up. Another note. Routering PVC makes a gigantic mess. But we'll get all these sanded cleaned up and then we'll get them installed on the boat. Okay guys, I wanted to show you the finished product on these rod holders. So, sorry for the tight quarters. My boat's parked up against the house right now. So there's the wake tower. So it's an aluminum wake tower. So we've got our aluminum bar stock. Just a real flat piece of stock, you know. Maybe, I think it was an eighth inch by two inches. Just got a piece long enough to go all the way across to this side of the wake tower. And we got six pieces of PVC. They're all slotted out. That bar stock is just held on by U-bolts, one on each side. And I did two of these, so I got one on the other side of the wake tower. 
and these things work great they hold the poles well the only problem we run into with these is as you can see they're on the outermost side of the boat so pulling into a uh, a dock with a roof that has a bunch of supports bang these reels right into the dock so you gotta be careful we gotta take them out when we're pulling to a dock that has a roof because it'll I busted one reel already other than that they work great Thanks a lot, guys. Come to you with another one, hopefully shortly.